Hello friends, welcome to CSAP Space. Today in this video session, we will discuss about static code analyzer in CSAP. Uh, so there are the different tools available for analysis your uh, code. Um, but I would recommend this uh, PBS Studio static code analyzers uh, that find a box in like a C++, C Sharp and Java source code uh, in any platform like a Windows, Linux or any OS that you're using. Uh, static uh, uh, analyzers that uh, detects uh, errors uh, in your code like you uh, make some occasional errors and finding these errors uh, might take some a time consuming process so uh, on a single click on a single click this uh, this would display uh, lines that you uh, make uh, errors and errors uh, like you uh, when you're coding a version control then uh, merging that code with uh, uh, the controls git controls that you're using so this will also display that lines that you uh, that make uh, problems and like if you are managers and then you return uh, frequently your old tasks uh, due due to the errors uh, and your users also complain that that uh, create a problem in a project uh, your project so that might be very uh, problem for uh, that project so this is static analyzer uh, is solve all the issue uh for the project that uh, uh, deployed on your production environment pbs studio is might be very helpful to improve your uh, code quality and write a neat and clean code so for demonstrating this tool uh, i i open a visual studio and create uh, some sample code uh, for test this uh, tools so i open a visual studio and here we uh, create a console app uh, for testing this uh, uh, pbs studio so writing like a pbs studio code test and then click on okay this will uh, create a console project where we writing uh, some sample codes like here uh, we writing a code uh, like i am creating uh, array for our countries like our countries and then here uh, writing some country name like uh, india this china this like uh, usa okay now uh, i'm creating a loop uh, to print this uh, name uh, like we create a loop for uh, printing uh, these names for five five times so this and here writing uh, like a countries dot length and simply i just copy it and this change to name here for uh, like a j and here's j and and like uh, i forget uh, to change this uh, in some uh, some developers uh, most of the developers uh, type a code copy and pasting uh, paste it and sometimes they forget to change some variables then that will create a problem and i also change this like a country start length like uh, i want to print this uh, names for five five times and here we writing a console dot right line it's like a countries i dot to push string and i'm writing one another code uh, like i'm taking one string and here i'm writing some string like a C sharp space, and then we checking this uh, like a, a string dot is empty. Mm, checking this here, uh, this condition uh, is always false because here we initialize the value into this variable, 
and we also initialize this console dot right line right line and here uh, we print this like uh, rich and then in dash we write a console dot read line Uh, when you install a PB Studio, then uh, this PB Studio is available uh, here in the VG Studio. Uh, this uh, will show the different options like uh, check current files, uh, check open files, and this for check current pro uh, projects. This for selected items, and this solution um, is that checking your whole solution that contain uh, multiple projects. And this is the different different options. Uh, that might be helpful to your projects so for checking these files uh, i'm click on this check uh, current files this will uh, display uh, warnings errors uh, in this uh, file so this is categorized into three different categories like high medium and low now this uh, analysis uh, that code this will display a uh, three high normal medium and this for low so for i this uh, saying it's likely a wrong variable is being incremented inside a for operator so going to that line you need to uh, click on that warning message so so here it's showing a wrong increment so we change it and then second one uh, its uh, expression is always true because we initialize the value to this variables is here so this will always true so like uh, i remove this or we initialize this value is somewhere else like i comment it we remove like uh, we remove these conditions and this uh, this message only for showing a license license warning this for low this thing always true because um, because here we uh, uh, not incremented the i value so this showing error now we again check this file Mm. so this will display congratulations is not found in you see in your source code means that the code is uh, error free so uh, now we run this application so i'm pressing control f5 uh, this will uh, print a five five times to each country uh, and this this option uh, will check all the files means this uh, will check uh, multiple files in your current project so i have some demo projects here so i open this project this is some um, uh, sample project and here i am checking this uh, project so click on this uh, current projects uh, so th this will uh, checking all the files uh, that uh, uh, contain under this uh, project so now this analyzing this uh, project this process all the files that uh, contain into this project it's taking some time so this will uh, display the difference uh, warning messages that uh, contain into this project so for going to this errors we simply double click on this this will showing the file objects are used before it was verified against null means uh, this file objects need to checks uh, check uh, for null values means uh, if you directly uh, we used then that will create a problem when uh, then uh, when this uh, file variable is null so showing different different like uh, this uh, temp type 
null is uh, always true because because here uh, we provide a value to this uh, temp variable and this will all this this showing the errors everything on with the line and th this is the controller files that uh, is using into this project so this analysis or your projects uh, and this will also uh, suggest to change your code uh, it it suggests uh, different types of errors in your projects like a uh, typos error null reference reference uh, null pointer reference and d reference array index out of bounds incorrect shift operations and any others many more types uh, that will uh, suggest in your code so pb studio uh, is might be helpful uh, for development to your project you can uh, get a, a trial version of uh, pb studio analysis from here you can choose your platform language and your format and you can uh, request a trial key for this so to know more about a PBS Studio, you can uh, download PBS Studio from the uh, link uh, that is in the description of this video. And uh, you can use my uh, promo code uh, has csop underscore space to get a 30 days uh, trial uh, instead of uh, 7 days. Uh, so thanks. Thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please click on a subscribe button and for getting a latest updates also click on notification bell so thanks